So one of the first features of my fitness pay you need to learn to use is the add meal feature. It really helps to save time going forward when you're tracking and logging your food. So I'm gonna add a meal here. What I'm gonna do first of all is add the ingredients. You'll see some stuff below on the most recent list that I've obviously already used this before, but I'm gonna access it as if I've never used it before. So I'm gonna add three eggs. There's one egg there. Change the number of servings to three and save that. And then we're gonna add some toast or some bread. So I'm gonna add in wholemeal bread here. Again, I'm not gonna use the, um, the most recent because some of you won't have used it before, so you won't have that feature. Uh, when you put in your bread, it's good to put in the brand because it just comes up with a better search. There we go, wholemeal bread, Tesco, two slices. And then obviously we have butter on that. So I've had some butter. Again, we search. And we see there's either, you can do it by weight um, or by portion size. So let's do about uh, one tablespoon, probably about right, big portion of butter. Okay, so I uh, put in all the ingredients in my meal there, egg, three eggs, two slices of bread, and a tablespoon of butter. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna press this little pencil button, that's the edit button there. And I'm gonna click the meal, so breakfast here, and you can see that all of the ingredients are selected. Then I'm gonna click the three buttons here. This obviously may be slightly different on the iPhone in terms of the actual buttons used, but um, I'm sure you can work it out from there. And I'm gonna press here, and I'm gonna press save meal. Like so. And I'm gonna save it as three eggs on toast. There we are. So it added to my saved meals. I can view all the meals I've saved. Now you can see that I've done this um, before. Um, this one should be called three eggs on toast. It's three eggs of toast. Um, and there's other meals I've put on there as well. All kinds of stuff. Now what you can do from there, what, make, what makes that sort of efficient for you is that then when you go to tomorrow, when I go to add food, I can go to meals and it can let me add yesterday's breakfast. Um, or I can add three eggs on toast. Here we go. And then that immediately adds that meal again. And because most of us will generally reuse a lot of our meals, we won't use 300 different breakfasts a year and 300 different dinners. Um, you're gonna really save a lot of time because what will end up happening is you can just put your breakfast in in, in five seconds. Uh, most of us have similar snacks, similar lunches. so it really saves you a lot of time. So there's a very simple feature you need to start using. That's the add meal feature. Another way you can obviously add food that you may know already. Um, so if I was adding something onto the breakfast there is you can use this little feature here, the little barcode feature, and that will enable you to scan the barcode of your food and it'll automatically add that for you. Obviously I've got nothing here to scan, but that's a really quick feature. If you've got some food that you want to add that's not on a database, you can do that as well. So that's how you add a meal. Good tracking guys and good luck going forward.